Hello, everyone. Hello, my happy little friends. <sighs> Today is Thursday, uh, November 10th, 2022. I'm Angela with Happy Little Stitch Shop, and I am super happy to be here with you guys today. It has been a week. It has been a couple of weeks. There has been a lot going on, nothing bad. So thank you for all of the people who were like, I hope everything's okay. I hope nothing, because I had to cancel the live stream on Monday. Our cross-stitch live stream, I had to cancel on Monday, floss tube, um, just due to a scheduling conflict that I couldn't avoid. Like I couldn't get around it. And so um, I had to cancel, which I hate doing. I really am not a fan of doing that. But this time it was unavoidable. And so a lot of you reached out and said, is everything okay? And everything's totally fine. It's just life has been winning lately. Life has been winning. And I feel though, like I'm a little bit over the hump. And uh, so I'm ready to start down the comeback trail. I am going to take control again. So hello, hello. I'm super happy to be here with you guys. I could really use like this good vibe, happy live stream to kind of lift up today. So I hope you guys have brought your chattiness and are ready to have a good chat with me today. And I've got lots of good, good fun, like eye candy to share with you, which I hope you will enjoy. But how is everyone? How has your week been? And I have missed you. I missed not seeing you and spending time with you on Monday. And I'm super happy to be here with you now. So how are you guys? Judy, and I'm sitting on a lower chair. <laughs> we threw away those other chairs that we had because they were falling apart. And uh, so now I'm sitting on this really low chair. And so I feel, I feel very tiny. So I'm trying to sit up super straight. Hello, Judy. Gloomy but warm Northeast Wisconsin. Yes, it is gloomy here as well. And it's supposed to be like 70 something today for the high. And then tomorrow, the high is supposed to be 35. So we are going from like one extreme to the other. It's beautiful. Like the temperature is beautiful outside today. There's a bit of a, it's a little bit windy, but well, the sun's trying to come out now. But um, it is cloudy. And tomorrow, it's supposed to be really supposed to be very chilly. Hello, Kay. Hope you're having a great day. Cloudy day in Lee Summit, Missouri. Hello, Maria. Marie. Hello, Marsha. Hello, Laurel. Aloha. You were missed on Monday. I hope all is well. Thank you for saying that I was missed. I appreciate that. And yes, all is well. Just legit scheduling thing on Monday. I had to do something else. And I couldn't get around it. Wendy. Hey, everybody from Chile, Southern Idaho. We've been having snowstorms repeatedly. Oh my goodness. So sometimes my little one likes to look at the radar. She likes to see the, like the rain or the snow moving across. Usually it's been the rain when we've watched it. And so sometimes we'll check the, the weather in the morning and she'll say, can I see the radar? And so we'll look at the map. And uh, usually it's green because it's rain. But the last time we looked at it, there were, was a bunch of snow like in Idaho and up north in Canada and northern states. And um, 
So I was like, oh, the blue stuff is snow. And so she was like, oh, they're getting a lot of snow there and a lot of snow there. So, oh my goodness, how much snow do you have, Wendy? Sherry, hello, how are you? Oh my goodness, Sherry. Your email this morning, it was not pretty for a while, but I got it under control again. Sue, forgot about the time change you guys have. Oh, you are Sue, are you in Arizona? Wendy, hello. Carrie, hello. We missed you earlier this week, Angel. Thank you, Carrie. I missed you guys too. I sure did. Marcella, hello. Having a beautiful day in Michigan. Cheryl, hello from Kentucky. Nancy, hello. Hello, Darlene. Hello, Lori. Judy says, glad to hear everything is good. We miss you, but we'll excuse you this time. <laughs> I do not, I don't, I don't do that very often. Like, and usually it has to be something like kind of significant that's going on in order for something like that to happen. So that is not the norm, but it did have to happen on Monday. And I apologize for that. And I missed you guys too. We missed you. Glad to see your happy face. Thank you, Tammy. Martha says, happy friends Thursday to everyone. Miss you on Monday. It's just not the same without your videos. Well, that means a lot. That really means a lot. I really appreciate that. So thank you for saying that, Martha. Judy, so happy to be here. Usually I work on th Thursdays. So now is a treat. Yay. I'm happy you're here too, Judy. Lee, hello. We have warmed up to 23. <laughs> Oh no, 35 tomorrow doesn't sound so bad when you're up to 23. Judy, my temp hit 72, but it's going down now. Mm -hmm. It's getting ready for tomorrow. Sue, I hear your puppy. Maybe you're getting mail. Yeah, the mail is coming. I can hear the mail truck. So, so can Henry. So he barks every time he hears the mail truck, even if the mailman is not getting out or mail person is not getting out to deliver anything. He just, he can hear the truck. And so then he starts barking. He starts barking. He's a good protector. Um, and hello, are you getting the blizzard I hear about? What? What blizzard? Where is it supposed to go, Anne? Because I do not know. At the last time that my little one and I looked at the weather, which was a few days ago, maybe last week, um, there was no snow in the forecast, but please tell me more. Is it coming to the Midwest? Lori says we're wet here in Florida, but the hurt from the hurricane all is well. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I'm glad you are well. Hello, Mama Lane. Kathy, hello. I just survived tropical storm in Florida from rainy St. Petersburg. Are you guys all okay down there in Florida? I have some friends down in Florida and usually I see updates about what's going on, but I have not been on my phone much today. So I have not, I haven't been on uh, Facebook much today. Usually I hear about it through Facebook. So I haven't been on there much today. So is everybody okay in Florida? Sherry Hearts, Amy's Quilty Adventures. Hello. Hello, Chris. You are ahead of me in autumn love. But I, I don't know if you heard me say before that I'm on the comeback trail. So watch out, Chris. I'm coming for you. I'm going to get caught up with that, with those squares. It's really nice to have somebody who's kind of at the same spot as you to, to provide motivation. To be like, okay, this is where I'm at. And then you're like, oh, I want to try to keep on pace. And so I, I need to get stitching to catch up a little bit. Wendy says, at my house, we've had at least four inches since last night. That's a lot of rain. Annette Sharp, hello from England. Hello, how are you? Thank you for joining. Jen says, hi everyone, finally made it to a live. It's been a while, miss you all. I have missed you. I have wondering if, I've been wondering if your remodel ate you. I, I'm glad that you were here safe and sound and I have missed you. I've noticed that, that you've, you've not been here but I also know that you've got a lot of stuff on your plate right now. So I, I hope that all is well. Wendy says our low temp tonight is seven degrees. Oh my goodness. 
Martha, you make my Monday something to look forward to, and it's a great start for the week. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Especially today, I feel like I went through every emotion possible this morning. I was happy crying. I was frustrated crying. I was like, it was like a manic Monday. Then I started singing that song in my head. It's just another manic Thursday. Whoa, whoa. That's what I was singing. It's like, it's all right. You, know, you just put your big girl pants on and move on. Mama Lane, home due to Hurricane in Florida. So I got to jump on today. Well, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Colleen, hello. How are you? Christy V, blizzard in North Dakota, 9 to 15 expected and freezing rain. Oh, no. Winter has officially arrived. I don't think we're expected to get that. If we are, I have not heard about it. I've not heard about it. Although, not quite yet, but when it's time for, for snow, like not yet. I'm not ready yet. But when it's time for snow, I do kind of love those snowstorms because it really forces you to kind of stay put. You know, it's like a it's like a free family day when you're not expecting it. So I kind of love those snowstorms as long as they're safe and like nobody gets hurt. But, you know, there's there's like a cozy warmth about those snowstorms. Tracy, hello. How are you? <laughs> Chris says, I love it. Bring it. It's already been brought in. Oh my goodness. Martha, prayer for those in the path of the storm. Yes, yes, yes. Judy, it's my granddaughter's birthday today. 20 years old. Where does the time go? I hear you. We have another birthday in the house this week. My little one is turning four. And I often think of that. I'm like, well, it seems like she was just a baby not that long ago. Where have the last four years gone? But hearing 20, absolutely. Where have the last 20 years gone? Jen says, LOL, I can see why he would worry. It's an adventure as is my whole life right now. <laughs> it's an adventure. It is. I feel the same way, my friend. We need to talk. I feel the same way. It's like, oh my gosh, life is winning right now, but not for long. Watch out, life. I'm coming for you. Martha hugs. It's okay to feel the emotions you are having. Well, I felt a lot of them today. <laughs> my body must have known like, hey, she's feeling everything today. So let's just throw everything at her. I was like, what is going on? Oh my gosh. So um, one thing that has been on my mind a lot lately, like the last I don't know, a couple weeks probably, I swear that to you that I've had three different conversations with three different people, all focused on shows, show recommendations that people have been giving me. Like, you, you should watch this show, you should watch this show. So I'll share the one that I'm in the middle of right now for last, but I need some feedback about these shows because these two were recommended recently, just yesterday actually. One was recommended yesterday and one the day before. The first one is Yellowstone and the spinoff, which is like, what, 1863 or 1883 or something like that. I don't remember what the year is. But somebody said to me, do you watch Yellowstone? I said, no, I don't. But I've heard that it's fabulous. And she said, you should watch Yellowstone because it's really good. It's really good. And the spinoff is really good. It's all really good. And apparently a new season's coming out right now. I don't know. So she said to me, you should watch that. And so I thought, oh, okay. I should probably watch that at some point. So does anybody out here watch that? And do you like it? Like, are you like, yes, this is a great TV show and it's worth your time and energy to watch it. Uh, Tammy says it's 1887. Oh, okay. Jacqueline. Yes. Yellowstone. It's amazing. Best show on TV. Jacqueline, that is a pretty high, um, High recommendation. 1883 is prequel to Yellowstone, and they are both amazing. Ah, okay. Marsha, thank you so much for the super chat. We got a super chat from Marsha with a cute little hippo. Is it like a hippo robot? I don't know. OP, I don't know what that means. But thank you so, so much, Marsha. That is really kind and generous of you. I appreciate that. 
Jen says, OMG, we just binge watched both Yellowstone 18. There, you, you did both of them and you liked them. Judy says Yellowstone is okay, but not a family show. Okay, that's good to know. Heartland is a lot better for the family. Okay, that's good to know. Yellowstone is great. Yeah, this would probably not be, my kids are so busy right now that we don't often, they're in bed. Like we, we just don't often have time. Usually on the weekends, we'll watch like a family show or family movies. But this would likely be a show for my husband and I after the kids are in bed, just to unwind at the end of the day before hitting the hay. That's what I'm thinking. The Yellowstone is great. We loved Yellowstone and 1887 best shows. I like Yellowstone. Lots of swearing though. Okay. I've heard crazy good things about Yellowstone. I'm also getting ready to dive in. Yeah. I th so I think part of the reason that these shows conversations have been coming up is because people are getting ready for hibernation, right? Like you're getting ready to settle in and, and have show time and be cuddled up in a blanket with some tea or some hot chocolate. If you're me, that's what I would choose tea or hot chocolate and just, you know, some good stitching. Like I think right now is also a time where people start planning out their winter of stitching and sewing because we're all getting ready to hibernate. So I think that's why these show conversations have been coming up lately. Um, Nancy says, yes, they're great shows, but not suitable for kids. Yeah. I wouldn't have the kids watch them. They would be in bed. Mama Lane. I think that you would love 1883 as you liked. These are my words. Yes, that's true. It's from like the same era. I would probably love it. Ian says, Trarian voice here. Yellowstone is very violent. And the characters are all pretty nasty. Oh, well, that's not pleasant. That's not very happy or positive, is it? Amy says, can't wait for Yellowstone to come back next week. Love it. Sherry, love 1883. Yellowstone is very violent, not my fave. Okay. So Yellowstone is more violent than 1883. More violent and nasty than 1883. That might be... Um, Might be, I don't know. And my kids tell me 1887 is better and more my style. Okay, Jacqueline Yellowstone is an adult show. Adults only on Yellowstone. Love, love, love. Heartland, says Tammy S. Keep kids far away from Yellowstone. <laughs> I think that you would love 1883 as you like these. Okay, that's good. Heartland, people love Heartland. I got to look that up. No hibernation in Arizona. <laughs> no, Sue. Tracy says Yellowstone is fantastic and my husband loved it. I've been watching Gilded Age on HBO. It's an Amer Gil Gilded Age is an American Downton Abbey. What? Okay, because the last show that I'm going to talk to you guys about was part of a converse part of the conversation that led to this show that I'm currently watching included Downton Abbey and Bridgerton, which I enjoyed both of those. Jacqueline says season five starts Sunday. Down Abbey is excellent too. I've seen Down Abbey. Huge fan. Love it. Husband hooked on Yellowstone as a large animal vet. He appreciated the authenticity of the housework cowboy lifestyle. Oh, that's good to know. Tina, I love both shows, not for kids. Horsework, not housework. Yes. You're not going to relax with Yellowstone. Oh, okay. That's good to know. This is all good feedback. The Cloud's Daughters is a good show. I've not watched Yellowstone, but my husband just started watching This Is Us. Oh, we've watched that. That's a good show. Although slightly, um, <laughs> it brought back a lot of memories for me. Most good, but some really hard. Just with having little multiples who were sick. Most good, though. You know, a lot of, lot of happy, happy, funny memories from when all those kids were little. They kind of feel like I've lived This Is Us. <laughs> so to look at it through a Hollywood camera was like, huh. but it was really good. We still really liked it. Although we haven't watched, I don't think we've watched the last season yet. I think we still have that saved to watch. But it was really good. Tearjerker, like lots of emotions in that show. 
like Gilded Age, Love Heartland. Yeah. Uh, this is us was really, really good. Rewatching Heartland because it's so good. Okay, I'm gonna have to look that up. Heartland is also so good and kid safe, but they took it off Netflix. Oh, hi, Carla. Love the call. The midwife, but my husband doesn't like it. I have heard of that one. That one was recommended to me a while ago, too. I should check that one out again. Lock and Key, McLeod's Daughters, Outlander. Heartland, 1883 is more survival. You'll still notice a lot of politics and fights over land rights. The kids are all train wrecks and cause lots of drama. RIP is awesome though. You got a psycho one season. Huh. Bad Sisters on Apple TV. Okay, so the other recommendation to me was White Lotus, um, which again, I have heard of. Because I think that Jennifer Coolidge is really funny. She cracks me up. And so, but I don't know if it's a comedy. Like I don't, I've heard about it, but I don't really know what it's about very much. So White Lotus was another recommendation. And then I will tell you, so has anybody seen that? And do you like it? And then the last thing, and I know I'm not going to talk about shows, the whole thing, but I wanted to have like a chat. I just needed to have a chat to kind of unwind and feel like I'm talking to human beings, um, even though I'm talking to a computer and reading from human beings. Um, but the one, oh, April tried White Lotus, but didn't take. Oh, okay. That's good to know. White Lotus was good too. Strange, but good. Dark and charming. I could, I could do that. They're both really good. Called Midwife and Heartland are both really good. Emily in Paris. Okay. So the one that I'm watching right now was, which was recommended to me by a friend after we were chatting about Downton Abbey and Bridgerton. And I had never heard of it. It's called Poldark. Have you guys heard of it? It's called Pole Dark, and I had not heard of it. And so I jumped right in and started it. My husband and I started watching it. And I think, I think maybe we just finished season two last night. And the key for me when, when I know that I am in like really into a show, the telltale sign for me is that I, it is occupying my mind during the day. Like I'm thinking about these characters. I'm thinking about what is going on and what they're going through or what is happening. And I'm like trying to predict what's going to come. Like I can see where things might be headed and is this going to happen or is it not going to happen or what would I do in that situation? Like it's occupying my thoughts during the day. And so right now I am like thinking a lot <laughs> about pole dark because for any of you who have watched it, something huge happens in season two. And I was like, oh my gosh. I don't want to give any spoilers, so I'm not going to say anything. But I was mad. Like, I was just really not very happy for like a day or two. And my husband was like, I cannot watch this show anymore. I can't watch it. Like that episode made me, it made him so angry. He did not want to watch it anymore. I was like, we are going to continue to watch this because we have to see where it goes. And, you know, I know you don't agree with what happened, but we have to see where it goes. We're going to continue to watch it. We're still watching it. Totally invested in it. Love it. Um, but it's one of those shows that like consumes some of my thoughts during the day. So I know then that I'm really into it. So Pole Dark, for those of you who have not seen it, it's very good. It's very good, and you should watch it. Going swimming. <laughs> I am teaching myself Chinese going swimmingly. <laughs> Is that from a show? I feel like that's a line from something. Sherry, oh, definitely call the midwife. Yep, I've seen it and liked it too. Pole Dark is awesome, says Chris. I didn't know that you'd seen it. <sighs> I should talk to you about it. Um... Wendy Poldark is great. You liked it too. I tried White Lotus and didn't like it, but then you watched the whole thing and told me I had to. White like us plus one lots of reward. 
What is pull dark about? So it's a, it's another period piece. It's a, what is it based in? It's like the 1800s. Is it the 1800s? I don't even know what year it's based in. And is he coming back from the revolutionary war? So he, he, it's about a soldier who's in a war. He comes back after the war. You know, he's been gone for years and he comes back to his life and things. The beginning is kind of things that have changed him trying to, um, you know, get a, get a hold on life and some type of occupation in order to kind of have a life after being a soldier for a number of years. And then it's just about his life and the characters around him and everything that ensues after that. You've got the good guys, you've got the people who are walking the line, you've got the bad guys, you've got, you know, lots of stuff happening. Lots of stuff happening. It's good. Mama Lane, White Lotus is good, but gets heavy. Ooh, Debbie says, yes, watch Poldark and loved it. Have you seen the whole, like all of the seasons? Poldark is absolutely amazing. A must watch. I cannot believe, I don't know what rock I was living under that I didn't hear about it. Like I didn't know anything about it. And I said, what, what is that? I've never heard of it. And uh, she was like, you never heard of it. You have to watch it. You'll love it. April says, I have to be careful with what I watch or listen to as it takes over my mind and mood. Sometimes, yeah, that happened after this one particular episode. And I was like, oh my gosh. Treehouse Fire Arts, hello! I'm Nils at YouTube Watch, watch Poldark as a newbie. Oh, because you'd like to go back and like watch it without knowing anything about it again? Then you know that it's a good show. If you have that feeling, that's kind of how I felt even about reading the Harry Potter books. Like once they were done, I loved those books so much. Once they were done, it's like I can't ever experience all of that again for the first time, you know? So you must have really liked Poldark then. Watch Ted Lasso. I've watched that. We watched that. Yes, I love Ted Lasso. Except at the end of last season. I was so scared about what was going to happen. I thought that guy had like lost his mind and what was he going to do? So it'll be interesting to see where it goes from here, but I do like Ted Lasso. 1700s. Okay. Revolutionary. So it is the Revolutionary War. So 1700s. Laurel, but Ted Lasso is not for kids. No, like my kids don't watch it. If you like true crime, low country. I've watched the season on all the seasons on Poldark twice. You've watched it twice. So you're a big fan too. Okay. Now I've gotten that out of my system. I apologize for anybody who just wanted to hear all about quilting stuff, but I really needed a good chat today. So thank you for providing that for me. Sometimes I feel like I'm just, you know, going, going, going. And I, sometimes I feel like I'm thrusting information at you and I feel like I'm not connecting with you. And I'd like to connect with you. I don't just want to be here like throwing a ton of information your way. I liked, I like the connection. The connection to me is important. So I apologize if um you just wanted to hear about this stuff. Because I do love to share about this stuff. But sometimes I like to connect just with you guys. Just about stuff. Of PBS Masterpiece shows... All of PBS Masterpiece shows are worth watching called Midwife is great too. I'm looking forward to Wednesday on Netflix later this month. Oh, is what is that? Wednesday on Netflix. Oh, is that the movie, the Adams Family movie spinoff? Is that what you're talking about? Amy's Quilty Adventures? Outlander is amazing, but not for kids. Great historical time travel romance. Oh, okay. April, one more that I liked, Physical. On Apple TV, no kids around. Okay. I love this talk. I'm always looking for good things to watch you. Oh, good. This is exactly why we missed you so much, Monday. Oh, good. Whew. Sometimes it's like, I like chatting with you guys. I like, like I said, I like the connection through just talking about stuff. But sometimes I get people who are not very happy about that. And uh, they let me know. So then I'm like, oh, okay, people just want this stuff, or they just want this, or they just want this. But then I feel like I get buried under all of that. And then I, I'm just not me anymore. Instead, I'm just kind of like a robot doing all of the things that need to be done. And I don't want to be that. 
That's not me. Um, Outlander, Outlander is spicy. Yes, from Adam's family. Okay, love the chat, says Debbie. Like a real quilting me. Oh, good. Judy says, BYU TV free channel, and you can watch Harlan on it with no commercials. Oh, I'm going to check that out. Chris says, I love it all. That's why I'm here. Yay. Please be personal, says Jen. It's way better that way. Oh, good. Good. Because I, I really cannot be other than me. You know, like I can't be anybody else other than me. So that's how it is. Okay. Now I do have some stuff that I pulled with you today because I got lots of stuff in the shop. Like we've been busy cutting and getting kits ready and doing all of that stuff. Uh, April says, as Taylor Swift says, the haters are going to hate, hate, <laughs> shake it. Oh my gosh. Did I tell you guys? Um, so we were at one of my daughter's last volleyball games and she was very frustrated uh, with herself. And so I'm in the stands. I said to her, just Taylor Swift it. And she hears me because I kind of, I said it when it was kind of quiet. So I said, just Taylor Swift it. And she was like, oh, mom, don't say that. And I was like, then Elsa it. <laughs> friends, her teammates were laughing, <laughs> which then she couldn't help but laugh. And afterwards I was like, but I made you laugh. And so were you frustrated anymore? Or did it kind of take it off your shoulders a little bit? She's like, oh. she said, my friends thought it was funny though. And I said, okay, I won't say it again, but I'll be thinking it really loudly in my head. <laughs> so maybe you'll hear it. Please you do you says Deborah. Uh, we are friends and here to chat. I think you missed my suggestion of Grace and Frankie. Oh, that's with Jane Fonda and Lily Tomlin, right? Just Elsa. <laughs> She's funny. I was like, Taylor Swift it or Elsa it, however you want to, to do it. Just let it go or shake it off. That's funny. She was slightly embarrassed, but then laughed about it. So I figure it was a win in the end. Where's Poldark shown? Let's see it on Netflix. Um, Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, it's through it's free through Amazon Prime. Frankie and Grace is hysterical. Okay, now I need that because comedy, I feel like, is missing these days. Um, I'd like a good like period piece and a good, like just you know, arcing story. But comedy is good too. Like sometimes you just need good comedy and you don't find a lot of really great ones anymore. So Frankie and Grace, I'm going to have to remember that. You did your, do your job then, says Judy. Fun fact, hospital scenes of Grace and Frankie were filmed at the old hospital I used to work in. <gasps> April, are you serious? Jennifer, Frank, Grace and Frankie is awesome. Chris, oh my Lord is the best of very, are you guys serious? I have seen this advertised for years now. Like it's been on for a while and I have never thought to give it a shot. But you guys, all of you funny people out here, because all of you are funny, are telling me to try Frankie and Grace. So that's a pretty big recommendation. I need to check it out. And I bet they're like just little one, little half hour shows, I would imagine. I'm going to have to look it up. Sue loves Frankie and Grace. Okay, I got to check it out now. Now I have to check it out. Another recommendation from you people and Heartland and many others. So today after this, what would be really fabulous is if people could comment after the video is done and list your show recommendations, please, because I will remember some of them, but I won't remember all of them. So please list your show recommendations after this video is done and just go out there and, and type in like your top two to three shows that you would recommend to people. Need to check it out. Is in Van Nuys, California, which is Los Angeles. Nancy, I watched it with earbuds and laughed out loud funny. 
I need to see it. You will totally laugh. They are so funny together. Lily and Jane, the best. Grace and Frankie is a laugh out loud kind of show. I'm going to watch it. I'm totally going to watch it. And if my husband doesn't want to watch it with me, I will watch it by myself with my headphones on and laugh out loud. And then he will be sorry that he's missing it. Okay. So I have lots of stuff to share with you. Please don't forget to comment after the video is done so that I can see everybody's recommendations. Okay. Where to start? We've had so many things arriving at the shop. So I will start with the like the oldest arrivals and move toward what has just been arriving and what's just going on this week that we've been focusing on. So I realized that I had not shared on here. I think I shared through the blog, the happy little blog. I think I shared these, but for Funtober, the quilt long that kicked off during Funtober was cozy up by Cory Yoder, featuring her cozy up. No, this is, I'm sorry. This is called Roadside Harvest, featuring her cozy up fabric collection, which is like a really fun, it's one of my favorite fall collections. I just think that this collection is so pretty. And so I kicked off Harvest, Roadside Harvest, during Funtober, and I never shared with you guys these cute little pumpkins. This was an extra one that I made. So this is not actually, and it's not really ironed very well. But this is an extra one that I made. These are adorable. Like put together a little um, pillow with, you know, four of these or something. I don't know what the exact size is. But a cute little fall pillow, that would be so darling. Put a little border around it, it'd be cute. But what I did finish before I had a slight um, stoppage to my making, which I think has also impacted my mood. Like it's, you guys, it's so important, I feel, to make sure that you are getting time in for your crafting. Because as we have said on here a kajillion times before, it is an outlet for all of us as far as, I mean, I hope I'm not misspeaking but I know it is for sure for me. And I've heard from a lot of you that it is for you as well. So it's an outlet for us. And I feel like when that outlet is missing, then things just are not good. So I am ready to carve some time out in my near future and just get some making done. Fingers crossed that that will happen. Did I say we have a birthday this week? So that's a little bit my focus right now until because she has been counting down. Every day she wakes up and she says, five days left till my birthday. And she'll go around and she'll tell everybody, D, five days left till my birthday. R, five days left till my birthday. She'll tell all the boys. And then the next day, four days left till my birthday. Like she cannot wait. She's so excited. She was not excited about turning three, but she's like super excited about turning four. It's just, it's very cute to see. And I think maybe some of it is we just had the four birthdays. So my middle four just had their birthday a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> this is what she said on that day. She goes, I don't like other people's birthdays. I was like, what? That's horrible. What do you mean you don't like other people's birthdays? And she's like, I don't get any presents on other people's birthdays. It's like, that's how it works. You will get present on presents on your birthday. So, oh my gosh, she's so excited about her birthday. And she's my kind of girl. I do the same, LOL. I have a birthday month. Yeah, so she's, she, and, and then my middle daughter, who is sandwiched in with the four, with the three boys. So she's one of my quadruplets. So she shares a birthday with three boys. And so ever since she was like two years old, I swear to you, she would say, she went up to my mom and she said, I don't want to share my birthday with these boys. I want my own birthday. I was like, she's two years old. And that has stuck with her ever since. And I keep saying to her, 
one day you will appreciate the uniqueness of having a birthday with three of your siblings. Like that's not a common thing. One day you will appreciate it. But right now, you know, it's very much that teenage kind of all about me mode. And um, she's still like, now she's not like she was when she was two, but she's still like, I want my own birthday. How come I have to share a birthday with somebody? I said, you have your, she doesn't even have her own minute. That was the other thing. She's like, I don't even have my own birthday minute. She was born the same minute as her brother. <laughs> so I was like, you don't, but you got a few seconds to yourself. Oh my goodness. Are so honest. And she's so right. <laughs> April says, so hard for little ones to not get presents. I used to give the second kid a gift on the sibling's birthday, but just when they were little and I only had two. Yeah. I know it's a hard lesson. It is a hard lesson. So anyway, I, on this quilt kit, Roadside Harvest, I got all my pumpkin rows together and I can't believe I was so excited to share them with you. And then I did that blog post and then I forgot to share them with you on here. But look at those adorable pumpkins, these little gingham pumpkins. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Roadside Harvest. So I'm going to keep plugging away when I carve out that sewing time. I've got a, a list of things to do. And just imagine how happy I'm going to be after I have all of that sewing time to get all of my list done. So I won't show you all these because I think there are three, three or four of them. I think there are three rows. So now I just have to do the trucks, the truck rows and the leaf rows. And then this cool top will be ready to go. Yeah, there are three pumpkin rows. So I have all three of my pumpkin rows done. They were super fast, super easy to do. Now I just have the truck, two truck rows and two leaf rows. These are gonna be a little bit more complicated for piecing. The pumpkins were really, really easy. That's why I decided to start with them. But um, only four more rows and then this kit will be done. But it, it will take some time because the, the piecing is a little bit more involved with those other, other rows. So roadside harvest, I'm gonna keep plugging along with that. We do have a couple of those kits. We don't have many. We have a couple of those kits in the shop in case you wanna join in and, and, and do it with me. But we also have a lot, a fair amount, of cozy up left in the shop. So if you're looking for any fall projects to do, or you're looking for fabric for fall projects, cozy up is really up there for me on fall collections. And um, so I would recommend that. And we have a bunch of that yardage in the shop if you need it. My own minute. <laughs> she doesn't even have her own minute. She's got a few seconds to herself. Judy cute. Those are beautiful. Beautiful, Angela. That is beautiful. Love the Cozy Up. I love Cozy Up too. As soon as it came out, I was like, oh my gosh, I love this collection. And she did autumnal. Do you guys remember that? Because I didn't know how to pronounce it. And uh, I kept saying it wrong. <laughs> you guys kept trying to like phonetically type it out to me. And I was like, autumnal. I could not pronounce it correctly. Um, but she had that quilt kit, which was super cute. And I think that she has redone Corey Yoder, Coriander Quilts on Instagram, has redone some of her more current patterns in the Cozy Up collection. She's like uh, recolored them with Cozy Up. <clears throat> super cute. So Cozy Up, we have a bunch of it in the shop. And uh, I would highly recommend it if you guys are doing fall uh, projects. Lori, hello. How are you? You are not it's too late because we, the first probably 20 minutes or so, we talked about shows. We had just a lovely chat about um, television shows because I cannot get pull dark off of my mind. It's like consuming my daily thoughts. And so I need somebody to talk to about it. I have, I've been talking to my husband about it, but, uh, I need, I need to, 
I need to talk to some people about it. I'm loving scrappiness is happiness. I'm going to talk about that today too. I have it right here. I'm going to talk about the block that Lori did this week. Okay, then the next collection that I'm going to share with you that is relatively new in the shop Yes. So Lori is the one who recommended pole dark to me. And yes, I am super glad that you recommended it. I think we just finished season two last night. I think, you know how you're just going through the episodes and you kind of don't, it's hard to keep track of where you are, but it, it felt like a finale. It felt like a season finale to me. So I think it was the last one in season two. I will be honest with you, Lori. There was one episode in season two and I, I'm sure that you know which one I'm talking about that I was so <laughs> frustrated and angry after. I was like, oh my gosh, Ross Poldark, I need to have some words with you. Um, so I don't want to say anything because I don't want to spoil it for anybody else, but you guys will know if you're going to watch it and you get to season two with this, ep you'll, you'll know. You'll know what I'm talking about. It's so good though. And I said that I know when I really like a show when it's occupying my thoughts during the day. Like I'm thinking about the characters. I'm thinking about what's going on. A lot of shows I watch and then I leave there. Like once the TV is off, it's just left behind. But if I'm thinking about it during the day, I'm like, oh my gosh. There was another one that my husband and I watched together that we would constantly talk about together. And this one was, there were times when it was a hard show to watch. Like it's like the whole concept was just, it was kind of hard to watch, but what happened was so intense. And so like, oh my gosh, like at the end of every, every episode, I swear my husband and I would look at each other and be like, I cannot believe that just happened. The name of the show was called the Americans. I was a Carrie Russell fan from back in the Felicity days. And I la like Matthew Reese. I think he's really funny too. Um, but the Americans was like, we, we would talk about it all day long. We'd be like, what is going to happen? And we would make predictions and we would kind of talk through, I can't believe they did this. And it was, it was one of those shows that I thought about a lot when I wasn't watching it. Lori says, I rewatched the entire series every November. Are you, re so you're rewatching it right now? You must be. It is November. So you must be. I rewatch Pull Dark over and over and over and over. Rachel loves Ross. <laughs> oh my, oh my gosh. Well, that's that's a friend's thing. That's really funny. You you love all Rosses. Yeah. Thanks, Judy. I think this so long has been fun. It's been so fun and to watch, and it's been making me ooh so want to carve out some sewing time. Oh, all those blocks, those. Those buzzy bee blocks, those were so adorable. And then the mushrooms this week. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this collection is Cinnamon and Cream by Fig Tree and Co. And I shared it last time and I just wanted to be sure to share it again. If you reserve Fat Quarter Bundles or the Francesca Fox kit, invoices have gone out for that. And we have a bunch left over in the shop for those of you who did not reserve. So um, Yardage, the complete collection of Cinnamon and Cream Yardage is in the shop. Um, fat quarter bundles, pre-cuts, the Francesca quilt kit is in the shop. And that is it for cinnamon and cream. I was just trying to think we didn't cut up any kits for that one. So that's it for cinnamon and cream, but that's all in the shop right now. Yes. Just started it again. The show the Americans is a real life story. It was insane. No, it was insane. Like that one, I could maybe go back and watch again. Like both, it's it's one of the top ones for my husband and I. But like, it, it's an intense show. You know, it's not like just like a, a nice story where you're kind of thought. It's like there's a lot of intense situations happening in that show. Okay, so cinnamon and cream. That is that. We also, I just sent out yesterday the invoices for the brand new table topper of the month. This is a Christmas themed one. It's called Christmas Trees. And this one was designed by Sandy Gervais. And so invoices for this just went out yesterday and we shipped, we were all caught up on shipping when I left this morning. 
So we're ready to ship more as soon as invoices are paid and we'll get them right out the door to you. But this one is super cute. And we have a few of these left in the shop. So if you're interested in this cute little Christmas trees table topper uh, kit, you can order it in the shop at happylittlestitchshop.com. Just search for Christmas trees table topper and it should be there. I love all historical drama, drama series of beautiful cinematography and period costuming. So you're not joking about the cinematography in Poldark. It's beautiful. It is gorgeous. I would love to know where, I'm going to look it up. Where is it filmed and can I just go camping there? Can I just go and pitch a tent? Because it's beautiful. Like all of the shots. It's just... It's beautiful. It's by the water. I love being by water. Like it's very, very pretty. Very pretty. Okay. So Christmas trees, table topper kit. Mama Lane says Americans was a great show. It was great. I felt it had, yeah, I figured it had to be. I had a little bit of, Barbara, I'm talking to you. Barbara says Wales, I think. So I felt there were times where I was like, is this in Ireland? Because it felt like Ireland to me, but probably Wales. That makes more sense. Sue Swoo says, Frankie and Grace is hysterical. I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to have to check it out. Okay, so that's the table topper. Oh, it's filmed in Cornwall. Well, there you go. It's beautiful. That's one of my bucket list places, not Cornwall specifically, but, but England. And I would love to go back to Ireland. I have been there once, but I would love to go back. But England, I would love, there's so much history there. And I'm so interested in that history. It would be fabulous to go there and see everything. Okay. The other thing that I have not yet shared with you guys is that we are doing a placemat series. Uh, so this placemat collection was designed by Tara Reed for Riley Blake Designs, and there's a placemat theme for each month. And so we have online and have had online for a while reservation to join our placemat club. And the first shipment uh, shipped last month, I think, or the beginning of this month. I can't remember, but I haven't shared it with you guys. So I wanted to be sure to tell you. Sometimes I forget. So this one is... November, the November themed placemats. And so you get six placemats on a panel. Happy Thanksgiving, cornucopia, fall, what does that say? Fall is my favorite color. And then on the other side, you get three more. There's a turkey, you guys, Thanksgiving is two weeks from today. Can you believe that? This is live in gratitude. Oh my gosh, I love that. I love that. I've just, you guys are like, okay, calm down, Ange. Like, what's the deal? I have just been, this has been a little bit of a theme lately, not just because it's November and it's like the month of gratitude, but I always talk to my kids about every day, even on your worst of days, trying to find something that you feel gratitude about. Because every day there are blessings in your day. And you could focus on the nasty email that somebody sent you or, you know, somebody doing this or somebody doing that or how this didn't go right for you or you wish you would have handled this different or whatever. You can focus on all of those things. But if you can't find gratitude in every day, your life is so live in gratitude. I love that. And then cute little pumpkins down there. So that's November. And um, we're shipping two placemat panels a month. So the shipment that just went out was November and December. And what just arrived, which I did not have before, was... The backing, because part of this collection also has backing to go with the placemats. So let me show you. 
the backing for November. I have two of them in the shop. This first one is a red, barn red color. And it's this text print. I love it. In this barn red color. And then we also have this text print in an orange color. So it goes with this. And it says stuff like, Give thanks, pumpkins, fall, corn, family, harvest, acorns, apples, like just all sorts of fall text. So the backing for the placemats, it has now arrived and it's in the shop. Okay, so that is the November one. Let me share with you the December one. That's where it actually takes place, the mines of Cornwall and the coal of hands across the sea sinkers lives very close to where they film the water shots. She does. My gosh, that's a rough place to live. Imagine getting out of bed and looking at that scenery every day. That is really, it's a heavy burden to carry. Hello, Huckleberry. You're not here at the end. We've been chatting a little bit, so we're just kind of getting into some quilting stuff. Jen says, such a good reminder. I have needed a lot lately. You and me both, Jen. I feel like we must be in the same mindset right now because, but I'm coming out of it. Are you coming out of yours? Jen says, you are so right. There's always something to be thankful for. Always, always. Some days you might have to look a little bit harder, but there's always something there. You're... Um, Gratitude is a great attitude. Yes, Martha. Yay, says Huckleberry. How are you, Huckleberry? I have missed you. I haven't seen you for a little bit. What did I, I feel like I just saw something from you the other day. I can't remember. I can't remember right now. Okay, so this is the Christmas one. Well, December. This is the December one. Home for the holidays. Look at that Christmas barn. Merry Christmas. And then on this side, whoa, we have the Christmas barn. Family. What does that say? Family gathers here for Christmas. And then down here, the horse and the sleigh. Okay, so those are the December ones that have just shipped. There might be reservations out there still for this. I'm not sure if there is or not. I don't remember off the top of my head. And then this is the backing that we have in the shop for the December um, placemats. Of course, you could use this fabric for anything. It doesn't just have to be for backing for the placemats, but I just thought it was super cute. Okay, so I've informed you now about the placemats of the month situation that we have happening at Happy Little Stitch Shop. Huckleberry says, I've missed you guys. I seem to miss this when I'm off from work. Loved seeing a retreat in the works. Yes. Stitching with Lori Club retreat. Um, I know why I was thinking about you because we, I saw Val Kilmer the other day on, on my TV. So it made me think of you. <laughs> Every time from now on, from here to eternity, every time I see Val Kilmer, I will think of Huckleberry. Yes, I will. Okay. And then I have some big stuff to talk about with this and with this. But first, I'm going to talk about Dwell. Dwell by Camille Raskelly has arrived. It has arrived. It is in the shop. It is online. It's at happylittlestitchshop.com. It's here. Huckleberry says, I watched them last night. What did you watch? Was it Tombstone? I really, that has been moving closer and closer to the top of my list. I watched him the other night in Maverick. He had a very small, there wasn't enough of him but I did see him for a little bit in that show movie, but tombstone has got to be my favorite Val Kilmer 
<gasps> you watched the original Top Gun. He's good in that too, but still Tombstone is my favorite Val Kilmer role. My sister oftentimes argues the doors, but she's very good in that as well. And the saint, which I don't, for me, it's still Tombstone, but the doors is probably a pretty close second for me for his roles. If any of you cared, which I'm not sure you do, but there you have it. Uh, the original Top Gun. Will you have any wide fabric from Dwell? I will not. I will not. And I missed the boat on that one, which I'm kind of kicking myself for. But um, Sherry says, loved him in that tombstone. And the saint, agree 100% tombstone. Doc Holiday. He's so good at that. Oh my gosh. Okay. So here's the, here's the DL with dwell. Here's the DL with dwell. Um, you guys, if you want this collection, you should get it. Well, you can get it because I went online to try to order some of the wide backs and to try to order some of the other uh, fabrics that I think are going to do really well. And it's all gone. So it's a little bit of a Nantucket summer situation again. Um, we're Nan we still have some Nantucket summer left. It's still selling like crazy, but there were some SKUs that were like gone immediately and then you couldn't order anymore. And that's a little bit of the situation with Dwell. So Moda is already sold out of a bunch of it. And so what's out there is out there. And if you are interested in it, I just don't want you to miss out. So I'm saying if you're interested in it, get it while you can, because I don't want you to be sorry that you missed it uh, once it's gone. So Dwell by Camille Raskelly is here in the shop. It has a little bit of a Nantucket summer feel to it, except there are some reds in this one. Um, and it's very pretty. It's very pretty. Just look at those. I'm having a lot of glare today because the sun is not out. But look at, you know, those florals are always really pretty. So we have the complete collection uh, in the shop, multiple bolts of, of the complete collection. So we have plenty to go around for people. So please be sure to check out the website if you're interested. The whole collection is here. We also have fat quarter bundles, pre-cuts, layer cakes, jelly rolls. Um, all of the pre-cuts are in the shop. And then we have some quilt kits from this collection as well. Oh, let me show you. I did pull a couple bolts of yardage that I just happened to cut up for somebody today. Do you know who you are that ordered this for backing? This is the navy. This is the cottage print in navy. And then this one too, the cottage print in cream and red. Yes, Sherry, it was you. I just cut up your order today as we were leaving and I was pulling stuff. I wanted to gather all my stuff to share today. And I was like, let's take these two because they're sitting here and they're ready to go. So the, these cottage prints are beautiful. Um, so I pulled some yard yardage to be able to share with you and the pre-cuts. And then we have some quilt kits from this collection. So first up we have nesting. Uh, if you reserve this one, invoices have gone out and we have a few left in the shop. So this is nesting featuring, um, dwell by Camille. You get a jelly roll and then other fabric and everything you need, pattern and fabric needed for quilt top and binding. So nesting is ready to ship. And then this one is so pretty. This one is called Skyline. Focusing on the blues and the greens. It's so, so pretty. And this one is in the shop. Invoices have been sent if you reserved this with us. And we have extras in the shop. Just a few extras, not a lot. So Skyline is in the shop. Nesting is in the shop. And then this is the Dwell Boxed Kit called Hometown. So uh, this box kit, it finishes at 70 by 80. Everything you need for quilt top and binding and the pattern is in this box and it's ready to ship. 
invoices have been sent for this one and we have uh, some left in the shop if you want to order it directly. It's ready to ship out the door to you. So that is Dwell. It has arrived. It's in the shop. Um, something else just shipped. I can't remember. Okay. And then I have some other fabulous things to share with you guys. Beautiful, says Huckleberry. Oh, Lori finished your autumn love. Yeah, I think you think maybe you did a post about that. It's so pretty. I'm still working on mine and loving it. Going to try and do a floss tube this weekend. Maybe Saturday. Ooh, I can't wait. Can't wait for Lori's next floss tube. She says maybe Saturday she's going to try to get one done this weekend. <clears throat> They are on the way to you, Sherry. Happy mail is coming your way. Okay, I love that, but I cannot order one more kit. I'm all worried. Hold it up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Okay, we have gotten a bunch of very large shipments of chunky thread. So I'm telling you that my baskets are full. All of my chunky thread baskets are full. So I have... I have 30 baskets up. They're all full. I know there are 32 colors. I just ordered more baskets to have because now we're getting close to being fully stocked on all of the chunky thread. So I just ordered the, the last baskets to get up to 32 so that I can have a basket for each color. And I bet that it'll be just in time for me to order more baskets for more, more thread colors, hopefully. But we are nearly fully stocked with chunky thread. We have almost all of the colors. I think if we don't have all of them, maybe there's one that I don't have. But I cannot think of what that could be. Because any all of the ones that were out of stock, I received this week. So they're all in the system um, and ready to ship. We have so much thread. Oh my gosh, we have so much thread. So if you are looking for chunky thread, if you are looking for Lori Holt's chunky thread, please tell all of your friends to go to happylittlestitchshop.com and order your chunky thread there because we have a lot of it. We are brimming with chunky thread. So it's beautiful. Yes, yeah, Songbird is in stock. That arrived. Greasy, I feel like I wasn't, I feel like I have Greasy in stock. Let me see. Um, the other, what's the other one that just arrived? We got more nutmeg, but there was another one. What is the other? I wish I had my sheet here with all of the chunky breezy. Yeah, we have plenty of breezy in stock, plenty and songbird, plenty of songbird in stock. There was another one though, not linen, not wheat, not nutmeg. Gray, gray is back in stock, Riley Gray. There's another like tannish brownish color that we were out of stock and it's not, it's in stock now. I am drawing a blank though. Pebble. Yes, Debbie Rice, Pebble. Pebble's back in stock. It's here. Thank you. Oh, that was going to drive me crazy. I was going to leave this live stream and I was going to have to go look it up because it was going to annoy me that I couldn't find it. Couldn't think of it. Um, okay, says so Sunburn Breezy. Yep, both in stock. Does the thread come in that cute bowl? I love I feel like I'm going to try to find more of these bowls because I love this one so much. But Mason Cash, that's the name of it if you want it. Sometimes you can find these on Amazon. Search for Mason Cash on Amazon. They have different sizes. There's a really they have a really pretty um because I love that one so much. I've looked to see what they have out there. And they have a red one that's smaller and it's got a design on the side. It's very, very cute. And the red looks really pretty online. And then they have a green one that's also very pretty. And then cream colored ones that are also lovely. 
<clears throat> okay, so I needed to inform you about Chunky Thread. That is here. Okay, and then I have more Lori stuff to share with you. Let me tell you, Remix, 17 and 18, uh, is, I'm finishing up invoicing today. So keep an eye out for invoices for this. And then these will be headed out the door to you. After 17 and 18, we just have 19 and 20. So I think this is 13 and 14. I have 15 and 16 sitting over there. That is part of my list during my carved out sewing time that I'm going to claim for myself very soon. And 17 and 18 is also going to be added. These blocks go so quickly. So if you are a little bit behind like I am, I don't want you to feel deterred because they go together really, really fast. So I think I'm going to crank out four blocks pretty quickly and then be back on track. And then we just have 19 and 20. And then this all of the blocks are done. And then we just have to put the quilt together uh, through Lori's instruction. And we're going to have this cute little happy little Stitch Up Remix quilt, which is going to be fabulous. I can't wait to see all the blocks together. I think it's going to be so cute. I'm very, very excited about it. It's going to be darling. Um, okay, so that Remix 17 and 18 invoices are coming for that. I need, oh, Donna says, I need a light gray chunky thread. Can't remember the name though. So we have it. <laughs> so there's Riley gray, which is, oh, but it's, I don't, that's not very light. But this one is like a light gray and this is the linen color. And we have linen in stock too. I don't know if this is the one you're talking about, but it's kind of a very light tannish, like cementy gray. So linen, that could be what you're talking about. And that is in stock. The other one is Riley gray, but that's a darker gray, which I have here somewhere, but I don't know where. I don't have it back there. I think it's in a drawer over there. So hopefully that helps. Donna, I think maybe linen might be what you're looking for. Oh, uh, Lori says, here's some news about Remix. What? I'm all ears. I'm all eyes. Okay, now I need to catch up on Remix. I just need two through 18. <laughs> Carve out some time with me, Martha. Let's just do it. You might not get two through 18 done, but you could probably get through two or three or four, you know. And then that's progress. Just little by little, step by step. New kids on the block. Step by step. Um, oh, Donna likes the linen. Yeah, that might be the one, the one you're looking for. Lori says, you will have until January to catch up on all Remix miniseries blocks because you had to extend the release of 18 and 20. Really? Well, that takes a little bit of pressure off, you guys. So, Martha, you have nothing to worry about. You've got till January 1920. Yeah, I knew what you meant. So, with good reason, you know, you, your, your little family has a lot going on. Are you super excited, by the way? Time is counting down. Yep, tonight. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So easy breezy. We have a little bit of time, so that'll be good. And then in the new year, once the holidays are done, I don't know if you guys, one through 18 is all out there. Yes. One through 18 is out there. So Martha, you have everything you need to, to, to do it. Um, but I don't know about you guys, but once this holiday season hits, it's like, oh my gosh, it, life can just be so busy with kids trying to finish stuff up at school and you've got concerts and all the stuff that I love, but it's just so much stuff and there are tournaments and this and that. Plus you're doing all of the like family tradition preparation and trying to, you know, keep those traditions alive through all the chaos. So I feel like holiday time can be so, uh, so crazy. And this year I said to my husband, we have got to just soak up the Christmas season. Like, I don't care how we have to make that happen. 
I felt like last year it was very chaotic because we were moving the shop like right around Christmas time. And so it was just chaos. And after the season is done, you feel like, oh, I just missed all of that. And so I said, I don't want that to happen again. You know, we have a limited number of Christmases left with our kids here in living in the house that we are living in, you know, like living under our roof before they go off and start their, their own lives. And I really want to soak up those Christmases together, you know, like walk around and do window shopping and just like be out and enjoying the season and not letting it slip by without doing some of those traditions that should be done every year. So this, this will be good with Remix because then we'll just jump back in once we're you know, in the new year and the holiday season's passed and we can jump back in and finish it up. Uh, Lori says, yes, we are so excited. I can hardly stand it. Cass is down to a little less than three weeks now. Her baby bump gets in the way of filming me sewing. I keep bumping it and the camera shakes. Oh, that is so sweet though. Oh my gosh, that's really funny. But that is so sweet. Less than three weeks. So she's down to like weekly appointments. Like it's getting, it's, it's getting down there. The time is coming. That's crazy, but so exciting. Oh, I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm excited for you guys. Thanks, Lori, for letting us know. Guess I will make it, make up my own for 1820. Oh, it's her Christmas present. I think I can since I know. Yes. Share. Share when you make it up. Let us know. She normally climbs on top of the... <laughs> no. No climbing. No climbing now. Yeah. Keep your feet on the ground for, for just, you know, a while. Climbing after the baby comes. That's funny. Yeah. That would be hard with a big bump. It is super exciting. Okay, so that's the update about Remix. And then I have three more things to share with you. The first is Lori is doing her her scrappiness is happiness so long, her sampler so long, you guys. I know we have talked about making these um, <laughs> so true. You got to roll with life. You got to roll with life. I can't wait to see them, Debbie. So please share them. Okay. So Lori's doing her scrappiness is happiness <clears throat> so long. And I know that we've talked about diving in and making some of these 32 quilts, like as a community, as a happy little community. And we are still totally going to do that. And this watching Lori through this so long is just fueling that in me personally. Like I said, I, that, um, buzzy bee. Oh my gosh. That's so cute with all those colorful bees. And then this week, well, actually, yeah, it was Monday. It was this week. Is that right? Yeah, it was Monday. Uh, she shared her calico mushroom. So she did a tutorial on it. It's super cool. If you guys haven't watched her YouTube channel for this series, for the Scrappiness is Happiness So Long series, she shows you how to make each block. So you get a hands-on tutorial from Lori right through her YouTube channel um, on how to make the blocks. And so far, the Buzzy Bee block, super simple, like very, very simple. And the calico mushroom block, super simple and fast. It gives me, it gets me excited because I think, oh, these are going to, I mean, these quilts could go together pretty quickly. So I'm going to show you quick. <clears throat> that is the calico mushroom. Those are the blocks that she did this week. So be sure to check out her video. And of course, we have the Scrappiness is Happiness book in the shop. If you are looking for the Scrappiness is Happiness book by Lori, um, it's really a fabulous book to just have, you know, 
to just have on your quilting shelf because you're going to, there are so many blocks in here that you can use to do a bunch of different things with. You don't just have to make the 32 quilts that are in here, but you can be creative on your own and mix and match and just create your own unique thing with all of the different options in this book. <clears throat> so Scrappiness and ha is Happiness book is in the shop. And then to coordinate with that, we also put together two scrappy bundles. The first one is all of the colorful prints. There are 40 fat quarters in here. This is the Lori Sew Your Stash Scrappy Starter Bundle. So if you need some extra scrappiness in your stash, or if you need to start a scrappy stash, then this is a good way to do that. We have a few of these left in the shop. And then we have a background bundle as well. This one has, I feel like it has 15 fat quarters in here of background fabrics to use for your scrappy sewing. So we have the book and we have two bundles for you if you wanna jump in and do some of that fun scrappy sewing. Lori says the announcement will be made in Riley Blake newsletter this month. For the remix, for the remix. I got it. I'm loving scrappiness. Happiness. Isn't it fabulous, Laurel? Lori, so each in each of my videos, I talk about the schedule of my tutorials and give links to the block tutorials I've already done. Yes. So as Lori said in her last video, some of the blocks that are in this book, she's already done through her Sew Your Stash series. So all of that is already on her YouTube channel. So she went through in her last video what her schedule is. She just did Buzzy Bees. She did uh, Calico Mushrooms. Some of the next blocks that she, she that are in the book, she already has videos which are linked in her last video. So you can go and like check those out and watch those. And then the next one that she's going to do a new one will be in a little bit. Marsha, I just made a reservation today for this. Yes, so I'm going to talk about that. That is a good segue, Marsha. That background bundle has been just perfect. Oh, that's good to hear, Kay. Thank you. Tracy said, I'm excited to get back to some Lori quilting. I got a wild hair that I wanted to make all of my kids quilts for Christmas. <laughs> oh, no, Tracy. So I haven't been able to do anything else. I'm almost done. Oh, my gosh. That's a lot a fabulous idea, but that's a lot. And what ones did you make? And I need to see pictures. Tracy is going to be made. It's going to be awesome. They're going to love them. How special is that? Monkey Mary. Hello. I finished my first block. We'll do the mushroom blocks today. Yay. Okay. So this is what Kay, um, Marsha was just talking about. I got the fabric requirements for the Hometown Quilt Seeds Blocks by Lori Holt. So let's just refresh your memory. Hometown. This is the next collection after Calico. So the next collection that's coming from Lori is going to be Calico, which is going to release in December. We have reservations for all of the Calico quilt kits, um, half yard bundles, fat quarter bundles, all of those reservations for Calico are online at happylittlestitchup.com, including the Calico quilt seeds uh, reservation, block of the month reservation. So all of that is online. Then after Calico in March, we have Be Vintage. So that's going to be coming in March and all the reservations for Be Vintage are online. That's a basics collection from Lori. But then her next um, collection, collection, is hometown, which is coming in July of 2023. So prepare your summer for some hometown fun, like backyard barbecues, block parties. I don't know. Anything that makes you think of hometown neighborhood fun, plan on that for summer 2023. So hometown is coming out in July of 2023. And this is the fabulous So Long Quilt Kit. It's called Hometown So Long Quilt Kit. That gives you a little sneakity peekity of the fabric. <clears throat> but this is this, the So Long Quilt Kit. We have reservations for that 
online at happylittlestitchshop.com. We also have half yard bundles, fat quarter bundles, all of that. So plan to join Lori and I, because I can't resist making houses and trees. So plan to join Lori, Lori and I to so long September 18th, 2023. That's when the so long kicks off. September 18th, 2023. Be there or be square. Don't miss out on building your neighborhood with us. So reservations are online for this. Then the box kits. This is um, hometown welcome uh, quilt kit. Comes in this cute little house keepsake box. Keepsake project box. So this is online for reservation. This is the Friendship Star Table Topper. Comes in this cute little box. That's online for reservation. But the thing that was missing from my reservations online were the hometown quilt seeds. So this is a nine-month block the month program that Happy Little Stitch Shop is running. And each month you will get a new quilt seed packet which comes in this cute vintage packaging. And inside this packaging, you're going to get your pattern to make this block and the fabric you need to make this block. And then Lori's going to do a setting and it's going to be fabulous. And you're going to have this cute little house thing. These are all pieced. They are not applique. And the reservation to join our hometown quilt seeds block of the month is now officially online at happylittlestitchup.com. So go check that out and join us in building our neighborhood. Okay, I'm going to catch up. While you guys look at these houses, I'm going to catch up. Um, beautiful quilt pattern, Lori. I'll be doing my virtual quilt market on my channel next Friday. What is that day? The 18th. Friday the 18th. So, Lori's virtual quilt markets are so good. That's where I fell in love with Prairie. I was in love with Prairie already, but once I saw those blocks that she made, I was like, oh my gosh, what am I thinking? Why am I, I need to make this quilt? So that's the, her virtual quilt market from last year. That's where I fell in love with the Prairie collection. It's gorgeous. So I can't wait to see what she's gonna share. So on <clears throat> November 18th, which is next Friday, I feel like we should organize a watch party. <laughs> Everybody should get some hot cocoa and some popcorn or with some M&M sprinkled in it. And we should cuddle up and have like a little watch party. That's what I think. It'd be so fun. So virtual quilt market by Lori next Friday, November 18th on her YouTube channel. Tracy says hometown. I'm so excited for that one. I am too. It's so pretty. Fingers crossed there will be cross stitch too. Bang. Monkey Mary, can't wait to see that, Lori. Quilt Market, what is that? Yeah, Tracy, so she she does. You should go back and check out her previous ones. Um, so she goes through everything that's coming from, from her. Uh, so I think she'll probably talk about Calico. And maybe she'll talk about Be Vintage. Maybe she'll talk about Hometown. I'm not quite sure. But... The last time for Prairie, she put together some blocks ahead of time from her Prairie So Long quilt and also the quilt seed blocks. And she was able to share those blocks. And I know she worked really, really hard to get all of that stuff together. So Lori puts in a ton of effort to get ready for her virtual quilt market. And she always shares a ton of goodies. So it's definitely worth a watch. I would recommend it highly. Looking forward to that, Lori. Love when you do those. Yeah, and it is so interesting. Jill is right to hear her talk about her collections because she talks about some of the inspiration behind it and and all of that. Hometown is so cute, so much, but so much applique. Well, all of those, the houses will be applique. Of course, you could do this, which is not applique at all. But um, the house house blocks would be applique. But then all of this is piecing. Pieced stars, quilt stars. I've signed up for everything Lori could put her name on. <laughs> Lori could put her name on a bag of dirty laundry. <laughs> I will buy it. Tracy, 
that is exactly what I needed. I needed a laugh like that. That is hysterical. <laughs> Lori could put her name. Here's a bag of dirty laundry by Lori Holt. And Tracy would be like, cha-ching, I'm buying it. <laughs> Debbie, quilt tees are so cute. I agree. Mary Monkey says, I love hand stitching. I make less boo-boos. That's good. Rachel says, Tracy, that is hilarious. And I'm right there with you. <laughs> Funny. Martha, ooh, virtual quilt market is just the thing. It's a date. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Kay says, Lori, I wish I could express how much I appreciate you and your creativity. Words are just not enough. God has given you a valuable gift that I'm so thankful you have shared. Thank you and blessings. Lori, take that in. Soak that up. That is so sweet of you, Kay. Martha, Tracy, that is hilarious. Monkey Mary. I'm trying to keep up with Lori, but just can't. It's a 400-year plan, Monkey Mary. We've already talked about this. We've got plenty of time. Rachel says Lori's virtual quilt market is almost as good as pole dark. <laughs> there you go. Jill says, Angela, I was late to live stream today because I was having an eye exam. Just ordered my first pair, pair of progressives, hoping to be able to cross-stitch without changing into readers, keep us posted. Let me know how you like them. And at first, huge difference. As I settled in, I feel like old habits have come back. And so now I have to kind of retrain myself to position myself correctly. So keep me posted. Sally Quilt, what time will Lori's Quilt Market be live? Sometime on Friday. Uh, she doesn't really have a specific time that she releases that stuff. It's usually just releases sometime during the day or evening. I think last time it was in the evening. It takes a long time to film those things. Um, and she puts a ton of effort into it. So I think last time she was up like all night long sewing to get prepared for it. So it's a lot of work for her. And uh, I think I think the filming that she does uh, with Cassidy usually takes a chunk of time. So whenever they get it done, then they post it usually. So sometime during the afternoon or evening on Friday. And then, yeah, it does take time to upload. Uh, Lori says whenever it uploads, so probably in the evening. So there you go, Friday evening. I can't wait. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so exciting. So hometown, all of the reservations have been out there for a bit, except for the quilt seed reservations, which I just added yesterday. So please go and join our quilt seed, hometown quilt seed block of the month. Yes, Sally, that is right. We are also having a Stitching with Lori Club meeting next Friday af afternoon. So new time for that. We're going to do an afternoon meeting so that people um, who can't make it always in the evening have a chance to make it in the afternoon. And we've got some big stuff to discuss. So be sure to try to either join if you can. And if you can't join, then watch the meeting later. What if the baby comes first? I know. It's like baby watch. I feel like we're on Cassidy baby watch right now. Okay. And then the last thing that I wanted to share with you guys, I'm super excited about making these and Tammy S I saw your trees for your first quilt ever and they looked fabulous. You had nothing to be worried about. They look so good. So plaid pines by Lori Holt. She kicked off this so long this week on Monday. And the video is on her YouTube channel. She did that a week or two ago on how to make these cute little trees. Another fabulous watch. I love these trees. I can't wait to start making them and put this quilt together. I'm seriously so excited about it. More of my carved out sewing time. It's going to go towards this. As well as some other things. My list is so long. So we're just going to... but. Progress is going to be made. And um, plaid pines. You also need Lori's tall triangle ruler, which is right here. Can you see this? I don't even know if you can see it. The tall <laughs> triangle ruler, which looks like this. Um, and then this quilt kit. And we have a few of these left in the shop. Some of you guys have been snagging yours. Uh, so that you can make this, this kit, this quilt, which I'm super excited to see you guys joining in. Thank you for that. 
Um, and we just have a few more, like not very many, a few more left in the shop. If you want to jump on the plaid pines uh, bandwagon, I'm pretty excited to make that quilt. I really, as soon as I saw that quilt, I was like, oh, it's trees and they're colorful trees. I love it. I just did not hesitate. It has to, it has to be. I love plaid pines, says Monkey Mary. Lori says, if baby comes early, I'll have Sterling, my son, film for me for virtual home market. He can easily climb up onto the counter. He just hop right up there. <clears throat> Amy's Quilty Adventures. I also like the quilt seed barn blocks. Oh, instead of house blocks, you mean you're seeing these as barn blocks? Oh, is that what you mean? Amy's Quilty Adventures? They could totally be barn blocks. I'm receiving mine tomorrow and the prairie bag. Oh, it's coming. 400 year plan, huh? Mm hmm. 400 year plan. Come on. Come do it with us. It's my birthday quilt. Oh, that's right. Happy belated birthday, right? Belated? I don't think you've had it yet. Have you had your birthday yet? But that's right. You told me you got plaid pines as your birthday quilt. Happy birthday to you, Martha. Okay, so that's a lot of stuff that's going on. We've got Dwell, we've got Roadside Harvest, we've got Cinnamon and Cream, we've got Scrappiness and Sappiness, we've got Hometown, we've got Plaid Pines, and we're having fun. We're having a chunky thread and lots of shows to, for people to check out while they're crocheting and stitching and sewing. So be sure to leave a comment below after the video ends with your top two to three show recommendations, please, for all of us, because we're getting ready to hibernate and we need shows to watch. Um, glad we have plan B, says Rachel. Nice birthday gift, Martha. Martha happy birthday. Oh, November 2nd. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so that's it for me today. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and um, comment below and do all of that kind of stuff. And our plan for next week is <clears throat> floss tube on Monday, quilting live on Thursday, uh, stitching with Lori club meeting on Friday. We've got some important things to discuss. So don't forget to uh, be there for that. Tab says, what does the American stream on? Oh. It's been a number of years since we watched it. And I don't remember what it streams on. I don't remember. Maybe Amazon. I know it's not on Netflix. I don't, I don't remember if it's on Hulu could be on Amazon. I'm sorry, Tav. I don't remember. Yes, I thought they were barns. Well, that works too. You could It could totally be a barn for you. Thanks. Have a great weekend. Happy birthday to your little one. Yes, birthday. Birthday coming. <clears throat> so everybody, thank you so, so much for joining me today. Thank you for lifting me up. Thank you for the positivity and the happiness. I appreciate it. And I hope you feel the same. And I hope you guys all have a fabulous weekend and um, I will see you next week. So happy stitching, everybody. Take care. Have a great weekend.